So this finish was an absolute mess. Ryan Blaney last night, all-star race coming off of turn four. Caution is going to come out. There you see it. This is NASCAR's graphic, whatever their stream. Uh, caution's out. Caution lights are out before he gets to the line. Checkered flag gets waved, though, right in front of him. His crew, his crew chief spotter, everybody's going to be so excited, so happy. Uh, but this guy's going to figure it out here. He's like, oh, wait, guys, hey, what the heck? I, I don't think we won. Here's the replay of what was considered the caution. And this is probably what we should talk about more, but I think... I kind of have some fun stuff to talk about here in a second. Uh, but, you know, Dale Jr. says his best. That wasn't a caution. No, no cars coming. Sent houses out of the way. No debris down. It is what it is. Mike, Joy, and Clint Boyer have this. Oh, my gosh. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I do, but I won't. Yeah. So this is Scott Miller. He's the senior VP of competition for NASCAR. Um, he kind of gets put, not on the stand per se, but... Uh, he goes out. He's going to take all the questions. Hamlin, you know, he's going to have to take some bullets for some folks for decisions he didn't make. He's not the race director, but he's the VP of competition for NASCAR. Here, Here's the first question. Actually, I think, you know, everybody, you know, knows that we probably prematurely called that yellow flag. And I think that's him and NASCAR taking responsibility. Um, you know, the way that works in the tower is that we're all watching around the racetrack and um, we make the, you know, obviously the race director who has the button and makes the call is, is the final say of when the yellow gets put out. We all watch and we saw the car and mentioned the car against the wall, riding the wall down the back straight away. And the race director looked up and I'm not sure what he saw, but he immediately put it out. So, um, wish we wouldn't have done that, but. And I think uh, we all know why. But we did that and, and we'll, we'll own that we probably prematurely uh, put that caution out. And that's where things get even weirder, right? Ryan Blaney had undone his, undid his window net. Here you see the rules about the window net. It needs to be properly tightened. No tape, zip ties, other devices. Uh, must remain flat and tight in the race position. You can't bunch it. Those squares have to stay with their shape. We'll show you the pictures after because I want to get back to Scott Miller's comments because they're pretty important. But Dale Jr. going to put it best here. They'll let you debate the window net so you don't have to. Ref they don't have to reflect on that. You know, caution. They got it. About the window net situation, Denny Hamlin was pretty frustrated. He said it was a safety situation. NASCAR always talks about that. What were the decisions made by NASCAR there? Great question by Claire B. Lang here, but it's it, it's safety, right? It's safety. And listen, this is where I get a little frustrated with these comments after the race. So I'm, you know, again, I think obviously Ryan Blaney thought he won the race. Um, another byproduct of kind of special rules of the all-star because and he goes on to talk about this later in this interview about special rules in the all-star race and how those rules kind of make it hard for them to officiate the, the race every other race that we do besides this one he would have won the race when the caution flag came out so they were celebrating he put the window net down we saw him struggling to get it back up so they saw him struggling with it. They don't do anything. And that's that's the first thing I don't like. You see him struggling with getting a safety device refast, and you don't do anything. Okay. Okay. But coming to green, um, he was warming his tires back back on the back straightaway. You could clearly see both hands on the wheel warming the tires up. The window net was up. No way for us to know if he got it 100% latched or not. As someone that is an engineer... When you're not 100% sure of something, you assume the worst. In this situation, you assume that that window net is not secure. This next little comment is less little bit. And at that point in time, no way we can be certain that he didn't get it latched. And that's kind of that negative. Oh, we don't know if he got it latched, so we didn't want to do anything. They didn't want to get more egg on their face or crap on their shoe or um, have to deal with more stuff from the media or people or whatnot they, they didn't want to have to deal with it is what it kind of came down to in my opinion a lot of people's opinions it's a safety thing though window net not being secure is a safety thing got some pictures of it here good good job scott miller though at least they, they got out in front of it whatever uh this one's kind of hard to tell but you can see of the up i'll highlight it but you can see that it's kind of missing here's brian blaney's comments they deemed it safe um on the back stretch coming to the green because it was up and latched and I had two hands on the wheel, and 
How's your call? That was NASCAR's call. Again, uh, look at that section I. That's what the net looked like when he was coming back to green. Um, doesn't look safely fastened to me. Also, those squares are not uh, one inch secure. It's NASCAR's fault. It's not Blaney's fault. It's not the competitor's fault. Um, but obviously, Ryan Blaney able to go on, gets the win, deserved win, whatever. Um, wanted him. To, I wanted him to win. I think a lot of people wanted him to win. It's good for Blaney, good for team. There's no anger towards the 12 team. There can't be. You can't be angry at Blaney. Any competitor, if they could get away with that, they would. It's on NASCAR to uphold the safety. It's A lot of times you hear about athletes need to be protected from themselves. This is a situation where NASCAR needed to protect the athlete from themselves. I'm not, you know, you can tell me in the comments down below or whatever, what you think NASCAR should have done. I don't know if it's letting him come down pit lane, take his spot back because it was kind of a dumb call. In the end, him and his team did screw up because they didn't know the rule or they weren't paying enough attention. That's kind of on them. They'll learn from it. It's on NASCAR for calling a BS caution, too. Um, a lot, you know, two two wrongs don't make a right, I think was a line Denny Hamlin said. And overall, just a very frustrating end to the all-star race, which was really a frustrating event. We'll talk more about it on the Fake Racers podcast this week. Um, and I got a couple more videos about this race because there was a lot that went down, but just wanted to give you a little recap of all the things that happened here post-race and with the ending because, boy, howdy, was it a lot. Tell me what you think down below. Um, make sure you check out more of these videos. Make sure you're subscribed, and see you guys in the next one of these breakdowns.